Hey guys, in this video, I wanna show you how to set up your Vienna Ensemble Pro server instance to be able to receive um, commands from Bohm and from OTR and to tie it all together. So on the screen, what you see is a blank Vienna Ensemble Pro server uh, project. We're gonna click the plus button. You'll see what happens when you start up uh, an instance is that it by default sets up one particular track and then ends up placing your fader there. And if you click on the MIDI controllers and parameters, you'll see that there is nothing really there. Um, this is about as blank as it can get. What we wanna do is we wanna tell Vienna Ensemble Pro that we have an instance we're setting up, yes, but we want it to receive uh, information on a certain CC, uh, which is CC 118 uh, within OTR, uh, to be able to disable and enable it um, without um, having to do it manually. We want to kind of automate this process. So what we're going to do, um, I want to set up actually uh, two instances to get going. Um, we're going to set up the first instance, and we're going to call this new with... Um, Vienna Ensemble Pro pre-configured. Uh, we'll say it was CC pre-config. And then we're gonna have another one which is like uh, a merged project. And we're setting these two up so you can see the difference. Uh, if we set something up pre-configured, um, what that means is that we're gonna either have to manually add in things down this side to say that we want to receive CC118, or we can use um, a very simple process, which is uh, use the included template within the OTR extras folder. So what we wanna do is we wanna go to instance and we wanna go to open project. And I'm gonna just click open recent project. Uh, I've got this disabled template blank CC118. That's the exact same project that's in your OTR2 extras folder. And what happens when you load it up is you're gonna see that on the right side of the screen, it has been pre-configured to receive on all 16 channels to disable the instance for CC118. We have to set this up for each particular instance. There is no way around this with VN Ensemble Pro. It's kind of a pain, but you get the idea. What we can now do is we can um, add within VN Ensemble Pro, let's add an instrument. We're gonna add contact and then let's just put, it doesn't matter what instrument we put on it. Then let's put something that's not gonna sound crazy when we hit some keys on the keyboard. And then on the merged instrument, uh, we could do this one of two ways. If you are setting up your instance for the very first time, um, I recommend doing this, opening the disabled template and then loading in your instrument this will save you so much time in the future. And let me demonstrate why. Uh, in the second instance, we wanna do the same thing, but let's say that we have already set up our contact instance, and maybe this is a project we've had set up for quite some time. Um, and we're now going back and saying, oh, cool, we have this new stuff in OTR we can do. I've already got my Vian Ensemble Pro instance set up, so how can I get it configured to work with OTR? If we click on MIDI controllers, you're gonna see that there's nothing over here. Um, one of the things that we can do, if we just opened up the instance, we'd get that blank instance again, right? Like, I'm gonna demonstrate this. We're gonna put one more contact instance over here. So if we had, on this particular instance, if we had already set this up on our server, and then we had gone to instance, open project, disabled, it just erases out what's there. So that's no good for us. If we've already got it set up, we have to use a process called merged template. Um, I did change this instrument a second ago because I did notice there was a strange bug with being Ensemble Pro, which allows, uh, if you had a wide contact instance, it just floated on top of the right side of the window. Something that shouldn't be happening. So I'm not sure when that started happening, but Instead of dealing with it in the video, I thought we'd just kind of skip past that. Anyway, so if you already have the contact instance loaded up and you're trying to get this set up for your server, uh, what we can do is we can go to Instance, then Merge Project, and then we can select the template. And what it's going to do is give you this pop-up. It's going to say, we want to merge what was in the other project, which is a blank disabled project, with yours. And we want to bring over the automation mapping. So if we click Automation Mapping and click OK, it's gonna bring over 
part of what we want. And this is kind of unfortunate. I had already set up one accidentally at the beginning, so apologies on that. Uh, but you have about half of the item set up. This is a far cry from what happened when we inserted it, and now you're getting to see that bug again um, that we were experiencing a second ago. So when we opened a project first with the automation panel, we could then add an instrument to it. If we already have an instrument set up, um, because you know what, let's face it, you may already be running Be an Ensemble Pro and you need to tie it to OTR. Uh, so you may want to just tie in the actual instrument itself via uh, the merge project function. So it brings in half the information, brings in the CCs, and then what we can do is we can either uh, click on this section and click Instance Disable and do that for all of them. Um, or in general, with your keyboard shortcuts, you can... Uh, highlight this and type in the letters I and D and it will select the instance disable um, or it should pretty quickly. So that's the way to get through uh, setting these instruments up. Uh, you'll see now, um, I'm going to close out of these other two. You'll see now that we have two instruments and I did set this first one up on CC on channel one, which is what we're on. And then the other one is receiving on all channels, which is important for bigger setups. So it's, it's much more important to make sure you have all the instances set up. It may seem like it takes longer, but trust me, it's what you need. All right, so we have our VN Ensemble Pro set up. So what we're gonna do in our project, and this is the one we were working in a minute ago, we're gonna, we're gonna right click, insert track from template. We're gonna go to virtual instruments, Reticulate because I like having Reticulate on the track, Vienna Ensemble Pro, and we're going to choose an instance with stereo out. I'm going to just drag it here to the bottom. And we're going to have, I'm going to call this one VE1. Then I'm going to duplicate this track. And we're going to call this the VE1 merged item, just so we can separate the two. This was like a, a new one. Okay. So from here, um, we're going to click on VN Ensemble Pro. I decouple and preserve the instance. So I make sure that these two buttons are selected. Um, there's a whole nother reason for this in the way I set things up. But for the sake of this video, I make sure those buttons are clicked. Click Connect. And then we're going to we're gonna check um, which instance we want with each plugin. So we're going to do the new one up here. And we are going to do the same thing. You'll notice the buttons are already selected because um, that's a global function. And we're going to click Merged. So now we know on channel one, we have an instrument. And on Merged, we have our other instrument. If we click on the instance itself, I'm going to bring it down in size so we can try to get a bunch of things on the screen at once. You can see it's that one's coming out of the meter for the merged. Now, here's what's really awesome. So you'll see that both of these instances are active. And this is what I was talking about earlier. Um, when we set up VN Ensemble, by default, this was active for the icon. Now, if we had hit this button manually, this power button, it's going to disable it. It does not just show a disabled icon. But if we knew this is the way it was set up to begin with, then uh, we could have chosen the icon for disabled. And if you want to do it manually, you can just, at this point, go ahead and hit Option Control A. So that tells us the instance is active. The VN Ensemble Pro, uh, Pro plugin is active, but the instance itself is actually um, disabled. That's what the orange icon means. Now, I want to show you how this actually works with um, BOEM. So BOEM is set up to receive keyboard shortcuts and CC shortcuts. So if I hit option A, which is my shortcut to activate the track, so I'm going to click the track, hit option A, you'll see that the green icon popped up. And if we click on VN Ensemble Pro, we now have an active instance. That's awesome. All that was handled because BOEM is running, and as soon as you hit um, option A, it sent a trigger to wake the instance up on VN Ensemble Pro. That's why BOEM is important. Uh, if we disable this instance, 
with a normal. Option D, it disables the plugin, but the VN Ensemble Pro instance is still active. You'll see right here, it's active with no connection. It's not connected because the instance is disabled. So we're gonna activate it again. Click back over, life is good. Now let's hit Option Control D. So we disabled the track. You'll see the gold icon. Disabled the plugins. And Bohm sent to the plugin, or sent to VN Ensemble Pro, a disabled command. So the instance is actually disabled and unloaded from RAM. So all is good. If we hit Option Control A to activate it, we have the orange icon, which indicates our plugins are available, but we did not actually activate the plugin to wake it back up. Option A. All right. Now, if we were going to freeze something, and let's just record on this track real briefly. We've recorded something on there. So let's say we want to freeze this track. If we hit option F, it freezes the track normally, removes the plugin, and then VN Ensemble Pro though remains active. But what if you wanted to actually remove the track from RAM? So let's unfreeze it. Oops, I did not select the track. Unfreeze it. And now let's, and just to kind of make sure you're seeing as both things are going on, it's an active um, instance and we're going to freeze it. Now be sure to watch. You're going to see the MIDI item pop up here in the copy and paste. So we're going to control option F. Select the track control option F. And if you saw real briefly when I pulled that, down the instance was copied to the end the cc instance we now have a frozen instance and because it copied cc 118 when it was playing it back for render vn ensemble pro caught the cc 118 event and disabled itself so if we hit option u to unfreeze it the track shows active and on the instance here, it shows active. And that is because when we hit option U, Bohm took that keyboard command and then set CC118. So hopefully you can see why Bohm is so in, important with the VN Ensemble Pro setup. Having all three of those um, items running together, VN Ensemble Pro, OTR2.1, and then Bohm, all three of those items allow you to have complete control of your VN Ensemble Pro server, all from your DAW. Bohm is a translation layer. VN Ensemble Pro is where you're hosting your instruments. And OTR 2.1 has all the information and scripting involved to seamlessly allow VN Ensemble Pro to run as you would hope it would if it were hosted locally. So I hope that makes sense. We've now tied together why you would use Bohm with VN Ensemble Pro with OTR 2.1. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching.